All right, so uh, today's a good day. We're gonna be doing some uh, some upgrades on the Mustang today. Uh, mainly today we're shooting for these lower control arms and upper control arms with these uh, upper differential mount bushings. So we're gonna be replacing this whole arm that holds the spring right there. And then these worn out bushings, I've already taken uh, this upper control arm halfway off just to show you the condition of the bushing. Totally shot. Um, but yeah, yeah, these upper arms here are gonna get taken off. Um, and of course, doing it on both sides. So yeah, we're gonna get to work here, but these are the, um, I think heavy duty rear lower arms from Maximum Motorsports. Uh, they have one side spherical bushing, the other side will be uh, poly bushings here. Um, but yeah, I bought their tool to help me out uh, with the install of those upper control arm bushings. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll get to work here. Got dad out there doing some stuff and yeah, just gonna get started here. And you know, I'm gonna try and film as much of this as possible. This will be my first kind of remove and replace job that I'm trying to film, so bear with me. Um, but yeah, go ahead and using my Milwaukee 3 8 uh, stubby impact. Uh, honestly, it does pretty good. Or not. Uh, we'll use the, the old handy dandy ratchet for this one. <laughs> All right, so to get this upper arm off, pretty simple. I had a train of extensions here, hooked up to the impact. Got my ratchet up there holding the uh, the bolt in place. And uh, yeah, just hit her, got it out. There it is. Sweet. Then, actually this felt like it was just gonna push through. Might take a little bit to get it out. Put you down here. And go. Sweet. There's the old one. Man. <laughs> Awesome. So we've been hard at work here. Um, I've got both of the upper arms out. Yep. Bushings are in no, no good shape here. No bueno. So, I'm gonna get these new ones in there. Um, I've also gotten one side of the upper differential bushings, which was a little pain, but I uh, got it out there, you see. Uh, you're going to clean it up with some sandpaper as well as up there where that mounts in. Um, but yeah, I've got this cup tool set up on this one over here. And uh, yeah, basically use a series of cups and, and steel plates to pull the bushing through. There's some really good, uh, really good information on Maximum Motorsports website as well as uh, I think Late Model Restoration has a video on how to do it. That's what I watched. Uh, follow their instructions and it works just fine. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pull those out, clean it up, and then uh, we'll try and push those, uh, or I guess, yeah, pull the other bushings through. Another update, um, I have gotten the new uh, differential housing bushing in. I don't know if you can see it in there. New. Uh, we get the new arm in as well. Haven't torqued it. Gotta make sure the suspension's all the way up. But yeah, this side's this side's almost done. And then come around to this side. I was gonna show you guys how this is set up here. Get this kind of aimed where I want it. So got the tool here, and basically. Oh, let me get my hand in here. Basically, you gotta tighten this bolt and it squeezes with this installation cut back here. 
it squeezes the bushing into the it squeezes this bushing into the bore here and then that way I can mount it up to the control arm um, mount the control arm to it it should be good to go um, but yeah yeah basically just got to get the new arm in there and then I can uh, work on doing this but this was honestly the hard part of this whole thing uh, it's taking me a little bit of a little bit of elbow grease to get them in but uh, it's coming along pretty good so the daunting part of this task uh, is done I got both of the rear differential bushings that are located in the axle housing in um, they required the special tool and it worked flawlessly I mean yeah I'm gonna put these beef boys in there I'll compare the old ones to these new ones these are incredible um, I honestly I can't wait yeah all right so now we got this side in and it's coming together I just love shiny stuff on this everything else is so dirty <laughs> it's so obvious but got it in gonna have to jack up the differential um, to put this to simulate ride height um, and then do the final torque um, but for now for all you guys need to see just showing you that we got both of those bad boys in there and then got the new uh, bushings inside the differential housing as well very nice and reattach the brake lines they took a beating but still ain't leaking yeah and then we'll move on to tackling these lowers Let's take a look at the finished product here so we got these maximum motorsports heavy duty control arms in they got nice bushings all the way nice bushings there these are spherical bushings solid bushings in the rear um and then got some nice ones, polyurethane propane in the front i can't even see where i'm getting here but anyway got some new arms torqued oh yeah so it's pretty dialed uh got it all torqued down just gotta set it down and you know it's a wrap get the sway bar in I never did end up filming an outro to that video just because I was running out of daylight as well as that was the first day that the smoke really started in, um, started coming in from the fires that we had faced uh, a, little, a little over a year ago. Um, I'm filming this now and it's October 30th of 2021. I'm pretty sure that video was filmed, geez, probably late September of 2020, so a little over a year. Um, but yep. Just wanted to wrap up the video. Um, I've been driving around, racing it. Um, you'll see in the next video that I release um, some additional suspension modifications that I had done. Um, but yep, just wanted to get on here and film something uh, to kind of close that video out.